And it brings me back again. About three weeks ago, we did um, Camp Choice, where we're bringing up kids from San Francisco. And, you know, talk about moments where some of that behavior is very hard to forgive. <laughs> and, but you know what? They're not their behavior. They learned it someplace, and they're acting it out. Underneath there, there is a very incredible young mind that that mind starts to go in a different direction. Those are the future leaders of the world. But we showed them a video, two major videos, but one of them was all about success. And so this, this whole piece that we did on success is that it requires transformation of ourselves. We have to want to be successful more than and as much as we want to breathe. We have to want success more than we want to go out at night. We want to have success more than the sleep that we think that we need. We want it more than the food that we think we're supposed to be eating. We want it more than going to a party or going to this or going to that. So I look back at all the successful people. Guess what? It took rigor and it took discipline. And that goes back to utilizing what we know works. It's called the Tools in the Basic Seminar. And I think that as parents, you know, one of the things is, is that we got to be it to teach it. That's as simple as I can possibly say that. I have to be that to teach my children that. And I was actually talking to my husband about this, and, and we're, uh, we're just talking about the whole, like, all forgiveness. And it's interesting that, you know, he learned, he learned forgiveness very strongly from his parents. And it's just so powerful in terms of looking at people and wishing them well. And I'm not in that and seeing the best in them, but you don't have to be in it. But, you, but talking with our children about why. Why, was this, why would this be important? Like the more that we can talk to our kids about compromise and um, cooperation versus competition, we will make a huge difference in this planet. Oh, absolutely. It definitely is. But you act, I mean, the whole idea of cooperation versus competition is like a huge new concept to them. And let's, let's just look at the big scheme of things. And when we look at our children, it's just, wow, of course I want to have a competitive streak. Of course I want to do the best, but I want to be competitive with me. I don't want to be competitive against somebody else. And why would we want to see people, people better than their being? Like, that's what we get to teach our children. But guess what? We've got to be that for them. We've got to be that example. We've got to be the one that when our kids are, you know, 24, 31, they go, wow, my mom, my dad, they always said that to me. I've always got to come back to being the example.